on guys it is fatal reaper today bringing you guys a video we are on the hp pavilion gaming laptop as we usually are and in this video we're going to be talking about 16 gigs of ram opposed to the 8 gigabyte ram that the stock version of the hp pavilion main portion of them and a lot of the other laptops and gaming laptops out there come with which is a standard 8 gigabytes of ram we're talking about today does 16 gigabytes really make a difference so in this for first portion of this video guys i just kind of wanted to show you where the pavilion is now where i'm at um, I am on my, uh, I got my cooling pad here with my HP Pavilion here. I've recently moved out, so I got a whole new setup. This is kind of to the right of me beside my main PC. So, with, and of course, this build does have 16 gigs of RAM now. So, in this portion of the video, we are talking about 8 gigabytes of RAM. So, this is when I first did a video on the HP Pavilion. Uh, I want to thank everyone who's watched that video or anybody to watch that video. It was, it's now hit 40,000 view, views, which is insane. Never thought the the views count would ever go that high on things like this. So I appreciate you guys for that. Okay, so let's get to the topic at hand, which is eight gigabytes of RAM. So we're on eight gigabytes of RAM in this portion of the video. This was the first video I ever did on the HP Pavilion. This was on Fortnite. We're using Fortnite for the example uh, because Fortnite's a pretty uh, pretty demanding game when it comes to things like that. They do a lot of updates and they're really on top of their stuff. And Fortnite does have a lot of issues sometimes with frame drops and stuff like that. So being you you really need a system that's going to be able to operate it. And the HP Pavilion can usually run Fortnite pretty pretty really pretty uh, pretty well for a gaming laptop. So in this portion of the video, we're on eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, now we do have just the regular settings. I believe I turn it to epic settings, or most epic settings and like low settings. Uh, we'll see. It's been a while since I uh, I took this video and basically, you know, just kind of re re-edited it. Um, but anyways, so in the settings like this, so yeah, we're gonna go down here. Let's see what settings I had put when I did this video. I'm pretty sure I did epic on everything. Um, while I was doing the video and then I hopped into a game so essentially what I'm trying to get at is when I hop into the game I'm only getting about 60 to 70 FPS now I do have the frame rate capped I do believe I do have, I believe I keep it capped if I remember correctly yeah I keep it on epic settings um, dang I was really bad at I was really slow at doing things back then <laughs> but anyways so anyways once the settings are set um, you know, I jump into a game, and essentially what I'm trying to get at in the main portion of this video, this is before performance mode came out, by the way. So in the next portion of the video, it's going to be on performance mode. So that is also a difference as well, but it will just go to show you even Fortnite as it's progressed has gotten more demanding, especially with RAM nowadays being demanding. Okay, so that being said, now we're going to finally jump into the game in this portion after you saw the settings. Just wanted to see you guys to see the settings. So this is when Chapter 1 was out, and as you can see, I'm kind of getting some stutters. Now, a lot of people did mention, and I do know this is the case, I do have the Galaxy skin on, and it is harder to render than some skins. That may be somewhat of the issue, but it does stutter, and you can kind of see the graphics are kind of eh in that sense. And what I mean by eh is they're they're good but it's like you can tell the laptop is you know it's it's kind of shuttering it's kind of shuttering and i did run into some shutters and stuff like that again this is with eight gigabytes of ram now once uh the eight gigabytes of ram once i had installed the 16 gigs of ram that's when i finally noted a dif noticed a difference in how the system operates which is where i'm trying to talk about in this video where the difference comes from. So the 16 gigabytes of RAM does make quite a bit of difference as far as your system and its operating uh, capabilities and stuff like that. Essentially what the RAM does is speeds up and makes your system overall run better as far as CPU and stuff like that and better at multitasking. Meaning you're most likely going to be able to run programs faster and more efficiently with the whole system as a whole with extra RAM opposed to the eight gigabytes of RAM, really not cutting it, especially anymore nowadays, more of 16 gigs of, gigs of RAM is more of the minimum now you want. Where eight gigabytes used to be, now you kind of want 16 gigs. And again, you can see we're kind of getting shutters here and there, and it kind of keeps on and keeps on. And then of course, this next portion of the video is the rest of the video that I did for the original laptop, or excuse me, the original video with eight gigabytes of RAM, and I'm in creative. And as you can see, I do have it capped on 60, and I kind of just run around here, kind of building and stuff like that, showing you how well, it, uh, you know, how how it works on the pavilion. Again, I was still getting shutters, even in creative, here and there, and it acted like it wanted to uh, not necessarily freeze up, but there was there was kind of instances where it would stop and lag and be glitchy. This is a lot of the issues and comments that I get on my videos of people saying they run into this issue. However, 
um, when I, you know, you when I upgraded to 16 gigs of RAM, I had less and less of this issue. I still get shutters, you know, I still get shutters on my main PC, and I have 32 gigs of RAM with a really, really, uh, I guess you would say, a uh, really good build that could run Fortnite easily. And I play on performance mode on that as well. But I'll still run into shutters. You're going to get shutters in certain games. It's just a, you know, you know, I used to shutter all the time. I used to freeze up. My Xbox, my old Xbox S wouldn't even play Fortnite. So, you know, it, you know, game, it happens like that. Stuff like that happens. It's just not ever, it's not always going to be perfect and stuff like that. So sometimes shutters and stuff can just happen. It could be an update uh, driver issue. Um, as simple as that, or maybe you need to turn your, maybe you need to turn some programs off, like if you have Steam running in the background, all that, etc., etc. So now let's get into this portion. So as you can see, the frame counter is in the left corner. We were getting 60 before. You could turn the frame counter off and probably get essentially some of the same frames. You gotta remember, it's still the same system, even with the 16 gigs of RAM. We don't have any different graphics card or CPU. But, as you can see, the graphics look better. You're not getting many shutters. The gameplay is so much more smoother. It was just, as soon as I upgraded, I could definitely tell the difference. You can definitely tell the difference once you upgrade. Because this is the newest video that I have of Fortnite. This is the new no-build Fortnite. Uh, chapter 3, Season 2, I believe, or Season 3. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Uh, I haven't played Fortnite here in a, a few weeks. So, <laughs> I've kind of gotten down on the whole Fortnite thing. I quit playing for a few weeks. Anyways, though, this is the newest season and stuff like that, and the newest video I have um, with the no building. And as you can see, we're getting 135, 160, even it's jumping in some places of FPS. The system's running overall better. I'm getting way less shutters. I'm not really getting any shutters. There's more going around. Fortnite's only updated and only gets more demanding with everything going on. Better graphics. I mean, you can see, of course, more stuff is going on also with now the new season with the tanks and all that. I posted the chapter one when we did the video with the eight gigabytes of RAM. And of course, of course, you know, as you as I was saying, you know, this is the same system. There's no change besides the RAM. That being said, this is why it's so important to upgrade your RAM. Now, if you're in a situation where you can't, there are other little things you can do, like turning programs off, overclocking, but essentially, I don't really care for overclocking and stuff like that. I would rather just essentially do the um, uh, upgrade of RAM. So, upgrading the RAM definitely helps. Again, you're getting so much more of a fluid system. It plays the games 10 times better. So, if you're going to, if you guys are wondering if 16 gigs of RAM makes a difference, 16 gigs of RAM 100% makes a huge difference. Um, and definitely with the operating capabilities of your system for your laptop. This goes for any laptop, gaming laptop. It's not just the HP Pavilion or a PC in general. You know, I used to have 16 gigs of RAM in my main P PC build. Now, I have 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, I've been told you can put 32 gigs of RAM in the laptop. I'm not 100% sure of this, or if that's 100% true. I just knew there were two slots. Um, I assume you could. I don't have that. I, I plan to look more into that, to possibly doing a video on that and getting that upgraded to that. That being said, guys, uh, this is kind of towards the end of the video. Uh, again, I want to touch more on, again, this 16 gigs of RAM does make a huge difference. And as you can see in everything I've gone over today, that is going to be your end game for making a big difference in your operating system, uh, operating speed and overall performance of your system of the any laptop. That would be the HP Pavilion, I know the Acer, Nitro, a lot of people talk about any gaming laptop or any PC that, for that matter, if you only have 8, gigas, eight gigabytes of RAM, really consider upgrading to what you can, uh, your max is, 32, 16, whatever that might be. Um, Definitely recommend upgrading and looking into that. Definitely helps, as you can see. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, leave me some comments down below. I'll be sure to get back to you about anything else. I do have a video on how to install RAM. If you guys want to see, I'll have that pop up right here in the right-hand corner of how to install RAM. You guys can go check that out, and that is how you install the extra 8 gigabytes of RAM to the HP Pavilion gaming laptop and that will give you 16 gigs of RAM which is what I have now and all the videos that you've seen previously I usually state if I you know if this was the time where I had the 16 gigs of RAM or the 8 gigs so just be looking at that and you can always shoot me some comments down below and I'll let you guys know but that is the video guys on if a 16 gigabytes makes a difference and it surely surely does there is a huge uh 
difference there, and it definitely does help overall. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, again, any questions or anything like that, leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.